I'd love to say that there are no big games. <laughs> it's easy to say, actually. And so many things in sports psychology are easy to say and really difficult to do. So it's easy to look ahead and say the Olympic Games or, or the championship tournament is no different than, than any other game that you play. But for some people it is. <laughs> and um, I think that in order to prepare for that, it's about being as consistent as possible in the way that you play the game over and over again no matter the venue, no matter the crowd, uh, no matter the teammates you're playing with on the court. Every time in practice you go back and take a serve, you do the same exact routine, you give yourself directive advice, directive thoughts on what you want to do in that moment. You focus your attention on the same focal point each serve, and I'm just using serving as an example, but the more consistent you are in your preparation every single time prior to performing, then the more consistent the performance will be. And if you could do that in every practice and then in different practice venues and then every performance and then in different performance venues, then you'll probably be more prepared to be consistent in the things that you do when you do get in competitions that you perceive as being bigger or more important or more meaningful.